Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Also welcome if you are new. Also a huge huge thanks to Picnic for partnering up with me on today's video. This video has me super excited. I know in the past couple of videos I've had spring cleaning in the title, um, but I have also mentioned how I'm more of a spring cleaner when it actually starts to feel like spring and we are finally kind of getting to that point. We've been having some nicer weather. Now, knock on wood, we don't get another snowstorm. However, this is going to be the start of my extreme spring cleaning. And when I say extreme, I mean extreme. As you can see, this video is just under 50 minutes. I am going to be working my way through my entire house over the next couple of videos and cleaning every room top to bottom. Now, originally when I started filming this video, my plan was to do the entire downstairs in one video. However, after cleaning for two days and starting to edit the footage I had, I realized I had a lot more than expected. So this spring cleaning is probably going to be split up into three or four videos, which for me, the more the better because this will give you guys all the motivation you need. Like I said, I'm hitting top to bottom. We are doing ceiling fans, dusting all accessories, cleaning the walls, the furniture, getting it all done. So if you guys need that total spring cleaning motivation and something that is like actually done top to bottom, you are going to love today's video. Now, with going top to bottom, obviously the ceiling fans first. However, looking back at this footage, I think I'm just going to have to go out into the garage one of these days and get the big ladder so I can actually get up here and wipe this thing down because the duster helped, but it definitely did not get everything. But you will see that I took everything out of this room for the most part first and then dusted the ceiling fan. And now I'm going out and going to be cleaning all of the screens in these windows. Um, the nice thing about going room by room is sometimes cleaning like the screens can get really overwhelming, but knowing that on this day I was just doing the family room, I was able to get it all done. So just removing all of those and I'm actually taking them upstairs into the shower because we don't have the water to the outside turned on quite yet um, and I knew I needed to scrub these down and hose them down really well. Now, a little tip when it comes to spring cleaning, I really recommend only doing one room a day or in some situations, one room a week. Now, the reason I say this is because I do it also, and that's why areas get neglected is you start off really strong when you start cleaning, and then as you get tired, you often start being like, well, this isn't that big of a deal. I don't have to do this right now. So if you break it up into one room a day and be like, nope, this room is going to get done top to bottom, you're just going to do much more of a thorough job compared to trying to get your entire house spring cleaned in one day. So depending on your situation, definitely try and break it up to one room a day or even one room a week. If you have some decluttering to do, take that week to declutter and clean and just do a really, really thorough job and the areas that you often push off and push off because like these screens, it's not that big of a deal, so they don't often get done. But since I wanna make sure we're doing the best job possible, I wanna make sure I am touching every surface in each room.
Now on camera, you often can't see all the dust and dirt. So I want to do a quick close up. This was where the kids pictures were. I hope you can see the just dust build up in the shape of the pictures. And this is why I'm going around and I am dusting it first. This blue pad is a duster. And then the next pad I end up using will actually be to clean the walls. Now to clean the walls, I am going to be using a mixture of Tide and a little bit of Fabuloso with just really, really hot water. I love using Tide because of its cleaning powder power, but then I love using Fabuloso just because it smells amazing. You say you're fine. Can't see right through you're holding your secrets for way too long. This can't keep going on with every lie. They keep on hurting you, getting away with everything they do. This can't keep going on. Oh, we're gonna find them, and I'm gonna fight for you. They better start hiding. Oh, and because I know I'm gonna get asked what I am spraying and cleaning with, this is Thieves Cleaner. 99% of the time when you see me spraying like an all-purpose type cleaner, it's going to be my Thieves Cleaner. I absolutely love it and I like being able to just have like one cleaner to go around and do everything. Also, I know I said I'm touching every single service. I'll, however, if you saw just a couple weeks ago, I had a little doggy accident and I cleaned all the curtains downstairs. So I will not be doing that in um, my downstairs just because I literally just did those. But when I get upstairs, I will definitely be doing all of the curtains upstairs. I want to take this time to thank Picnic for sponsoring today's video. Picnic makes getting personalized and effective allergy treatments uh, super simple. They actually make it where they have a quiz set up right online. It literally takes less than five minutes and it will personalize a plan with FDA approved medication and have it delivered directly to your door. More than 50 million people in the U.S. suffer from allergies, me being one of them, Bjorn, my son, being another one, um, and more than half of people out there have a hard time finding effective treatments. Um, so I don't know if you guys are one of them, but I definitely have a hard time. And part of that is my not wanting to go see the doctor. So being able to take the quiz right online was super convenient for me. Now for me personally, I suffer more from seasonal allergies. So especially like this time of year when all the snow is melting and you're starting to get things springing up, plus just like mildewy from all the moisture from the snow. This is when I suffer from my allergies the worst. And I don't know about you, but I hate going to the drugstore. There is so many different um, medications out there and it just can be super overwhelming and really easy to choose the wrong product for yourself. So to get 50% off your first order, go to picnic.mobi slash Cambria. I will have that linked in my description below. Offer valid for the first 100 people who click on the link in the description. Just take the quiz and the promotion will automatically apply. Free shipping is also included. And once again, a huge, huge thanks to Picnic for partnering up with me on today's video. So with cleaning the screens, this is the perfect time to get in and clean out the windowsills really, really well. So as you can see, I'm literally just using baking soda and vinegar and then going in with my scrub brush. Often I will use the um, steam shot. However, since the screens weren't in here, I knew I could literally rinse everything right out the window, which made it really, really easy. So after I scrubbed it down real well, I just took some hot water, rinsed it, and then wiped it down with a microfiber cloth.
to my bare bones To face the concrete It's like a world Rhythm makes me To my bare bones To my bare It's not too late For you So I actually have not put the screens back in the windows because the light that comes in when the screens are not there, I have absolutely been loving. So once the weather starts getting nicer, I'll have to put them back in, but I haven't done it yet because I'm like, I just love all the extra light that's coming into the house without the screens in. So I don't know when I'll be putting them back in. Definitely before we list the house because I know people will be wondering like if we don't have screens, but... I love the look of the windows without the screens in it. Like, I wish I would have done this in the beginning of winter and had all winter of just the windows, um, especially since we don't get a lot of sun in the winter here in Wisconsin anyway. Any extra light is a bonus for sure. Something better. Wait a second. I want to stay up late with my heart in your head. Maybe stay. So this is my Roborock dyad. I'm just going in and doing a quick basic mopping um, slash vacuuming with this. I'm going to be doing a more thorough mopping of the entire downstairs once I get the other rooms in the downstairs done. Um, but for now, I'm just trying to do the basics. Um, when I do a thorough mopping, I end up doing like a three-part process where our, I will bring out the dyad and then I will run our robot vacuum and then come in with my Oceder spin mop. Um, but since this day, I'm more focusing on all the trim in the house. I want to get on that. And for that, I'm just using that same mixture of Tide and the Fabuloso to really scrub down the trim really, really well. So I was super excited. I just recently ordered these paint pens. They're fillable paint pens off of Amazon. Um, I just got them in literally today and they're going to make going around and touching up the trim and the paint in the house so much easier. I did not have them on this day that I was filming though. Um, otherwise, I definitely would have gone in and just touched up any little spots and you'll see later that I'm taking down some of the artwork in the house that we're not going to keep up when listing. Not all of it quite yet, but some of it um, and filling the holes and everything. Now bringing everything back in because this ended up taking so much longer than expected and it was actually getting close to when I had to pick up the kids from school so I wanted to get the house pulled back together um, but I have my dusting gloves on these are just microfiber gloves I love these they make dusting knickknacks and frames and stuff so much quicker and easier they get in all the little nooks and crannies so as I brought stuff back in I just made sure to dust it down really really well Twenty-four. 
So it's the next day. I'm doing just a quick overview because as you can see, even though I did all that cleaning yesterday, the house still <laughs> gets messy. So my goal today is to do the furniture, the rugs, and then I want to do the areas that aren't thought of as much. So I want to do this hallway. I want to do this entryway and just get the rest of the deep cleaning done. But first thing that I need to do is clean up this room. So, all right, much better. Now we can get back to deep cleaning. So I am using the Otoban. So for everyone that was re recommending Otoban, that is what I am using to clean the furniture and the rugs and everything. And I have to say, I do really like it. Um, I don't, it doesn't have much of a smell, which I guess is a good thing, but it did seem to clean really, really well. I will also say I am so glad I got this mini shampooer as nice as the big shampooer is when I'm doing just the furniture it can be really like cumbersome to use the big shampooer and this makes life so so much easier um and yeah later on in this video you are going to see me doing those hallways you can let me know in the comments below if you're like this also but I'm very good at keeping up with the main areas of the house but often after a full day of cleaning when it comes to those like little areas like the hallway and the front entry I just don't do as thorough of a job so the baseboards don't get done that often um, the walls don't get cleaned as often like where I would do deep cleanings on the family room or the kitchen or the dining room fairly often I just don't touch those areas so I knew on this day I wanted to give myself the furniture obviously to get the family room finished and the rug but then I wasn't gonna say oh I'm gonna do the kitchen I knew I wanted to do those hall areas that rarely gets touched but were in desperate need of a cleaning I feel like there are areas that are often overlooked and not done um, so with this spring cleaning in the upcoming videos I'm definitely going to make it a point that I tackle the hallways the stairways and everywhere that sometimes just don't get the same attention as the rest of the house. So when it comes to these chairs with the type of limit linen fabric they are, I will say if you have fabric like this, you really have to clean a either whole section um, or the entire piece because it will leave watermarks. So whenever I clean these chairs, I like to do either, like I said, one whole section, like the whole cushion um, or the entire chair. Otherwise, you will definitely see those watermarks. But from working in furniture sales, like I mentioned before, 
often under your cushions you'll see tags telling you what the um, material is made out of and often also have a wash code on them and you can just look that up on Google exactly the best way to clean that furniture um, so if you guys have furniture that you've been wanting to clean but not sure exactly how to I recommend looking at the tag on your furniture almost every furniture company will leave um, either a water only or they'll give you specific guidelines of how to clean that fabric shooting me with words but i will let them bruise even though it hurts i won't show it to you Cause it will ricochet, I won't let it bite I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright Like a ricochet, it will come back to you Cause I don't care about you anymore So you can't hurt me like you did before All right, you're about to see how dirty this water gets now these chairs aren't nearly as bad as what you're gonna see after I do the couch now the chairs are not often sat on the kids do sit on them and play on them and whatnot but the couch is where we always sit and especially this footstool gets its wear and tear on it um, it's very satisfying to see the dirty water dumped but it's always like grossed out as well because how can things get that dirty especially since I do clean on a regular basis like I don't know it always grosses me out but it's also very satisfying to just see all of the yuck go away So the other thing I like about this mini carpet shampooer or fabric shampooer is it has different heads. So I was using a much smaller head on the chairs where on the sofa, since it's a much, much larger piece of furniture, I have this larger head and it just makes life so much easier. I can get this sofa cleaned so much faster than when I was using uh, my upright carpet shampooer because that only had the one little head. This makes life so so much more convenient when I can switch out these heads to be suitable for whatever project I'm working on. I see you from across the room. 
Also, because I know a lot of people ask about these products and links and stuff, I do have my Amazon store linked in the description below, and I try and link as much as possible in my Amazon store for you guys. Um, so always check that out. If you do not see something in my Amazon store, definitely leave a comment because I do just often forget to add it to my Amazon store just because life gets crazy. Um, but I will add it in if I am able to or tell you where I got it if it's something that I can't link. Um, and then when it comes to my thieves cleaner and my essential oils and my diffusers, those are all from Young Living and I do have that linked below as well. Take you anywhere you want As long as we're together Everything we do You got me going all You got me going all So after I got done with this project I was very, very sore from these two days Of just really like getting up high and low And when you clean you just use muscles That <laughs> you don't all use on a regular basis Especially when you're deep cleaning so I went to a massage. It was my first massage in about nine years. Um, and now I've only ever been to like a massage envy. I've never gone to like anywhere other than somewhere like that. But I really wanted to go for a massage. I was just sore and wanted it done. So I found a place where I live. It would had the best reviews. Uh, and I have to say, I felt amazing afterwards. But it was the most different experience I have ever had. <laughs> um, this woman did it where she used hot rocks and she also like walked on my back and everything. It was very uncomfortable at first and at first even when she was doing it I was like is this really going to make me feel better but oh my goodness when I left that place I wasn't sore anymore and I was like taking Tylenol and everything to help with my back being so sore and I left with like no pain so she's definitely going to earn my business again um, especially because she was also super reasonably priced I actually when I left um, made an appointment for the very next day for Bobby I warned him that it's different than what we're used to of massages but I'm like you need to go You've been in so much pain lately, and he does um, acupuncture and chiropractor and stuff like that, but a massage is just totally different, and when he got home the next day, he was like, okay, yeah, very, very weird and awkward. He's like, but I do feel really good. I think I'll survive. I met you in the summer. When you left, it was cold. Said we loved one another. All right, now for probably the grossest water dump of this entire video, the sofa. This is so gross, but, like, that's just real life between dogs and kids and a husband that is a work-on-the-car, get-dirty type of dude. Stuff gets dirty, but it did feel really nice to get all that done. Um, I'm just now moving everything off the rugs. That way I can do a really, really thorough vacuuming and then bring out the carpet shampooer. Um, you're going to notice when I shampoo that I do it twice. So when I do it the first time, um, and I don't always show this on video. Often I only ever show me shampooing it once just because I don't want to get redundant. Um, but I've noticed a lot of people didn't know that this is something you should do. So I wanted to bring it up more often. I shampoo everything in my house twice, especially when it comes to carpeting and rugs. My first time will be with the shampoo product, but then the second time is just really hot water as like a rinse cycle. It pulls out all the initial um, or additional shampoo and everything. And sometimes if it they're really bad, I do them um, 
another time. So like three shampoos just to really rinse them well. Uh, the soap residue that you use in your shampooers, if it's left in your carpeting, can actually cling to even more dirt, which is why it's really good to rinse your carpeting after you have shampooed it. Now, this water dump is definitely dirty as well. However, I don't think it's as dirty as a sofa, but it is, it's pretty close. It's definitely up there for dirty carpetings. Um, but it's not going to get much better over the next couple of months because we are just getting to where all the snow is melting, so it's kind of muddy outside. But soon we're going to get those nice spring showers to bring in the uh, spring flowers and the dogs just track in everything <laughs> they do the dogs track in so much mud I don't care though I don't mind having to shampoo my carpets on a regular basis I feel like it always just makes the house smell really clean when you shampoo um so I actually enjoy doing it it just gives me peace of mind and the house always smells so so good afterwards Now, you guys have not seen me often use my carpet rake on my rugs um, because I don't. I usually leave it upstairs and use it on the carpetings upstairs. But since I'm doing a spring cleaning and I want to make sure everything is really good, it is smart to rake your rugs or carpeting after you shampoo it. Um, because kind of like your hair, when your hair is wet and clumped together, it doesn't dry as well compared to if you like brush it and just kind of break it apart same with your rugs if you use your carpet rake after you have shampooed they're going to dry so much faster but also fluffier than if you just let them air dry without going over them with something to break up all the fibers All right, now this is the hallway between the family room and the garage. Um, also, the half bathroom is right over here. So I'm just going in and taking down the photos on the wall as well as taking out all the nails and patching the walls. Um, now, a little trick with patching walls, especially you can see I have really textured walls, is while it is still wet, go in with a wipe and don't use a sander. This takes out any 
residue that is left behind and then you don't need to worry about having that weird like patchy look on your wall if you have textured walls if you have flat walls taking out a sanding block works really well but I found taking a wipe and wiping it works even better in my situation So this hallway was definitely the worst. You can see this door had all sorts of like grimy fingerprints and everything and this is mainly just from Bobby coming in and out of the house after working on the car um, but even the trim had like dirt splatter and salt splatter and probably chocolate milk splatter I'm guessing that's what that is all over but like I said with this being the hallway it's just soft it's something that I notice but often will push off because it's just the hallway and after doing the rest of the house I'm just tired and I'll get to it next time like that's what I always tell myself so I really wanted to make sure and get in here clean the walls clean the doors clean the trim and get everything really really good This is also a good time to get all those like light switches and outlets and door handles, especially door handles, and clean them really well. You'll see I went over with the wall cleaner over the doors and everything, but since my doors have like the indents and everything, I'm going to be going over them again by hand, um, but mainly just in the areas that were more indented or around the handles that it might have missed. I love that wall cleaner because it does do a really good job of getting the majority of stuff, but you definitely notice, especially when you, like, there's a reason why cleaning your floors on your hands and knees are, is such a good thing, and it's not because your mop's not always doing a good job, but when you get down, like, in there, up close and personal, you just see so much that you don't see when standing up. Um, so once I was starting to clean the doors, I definitely noticed some areas that I was able to go in just with a little bit more pressure with the cloth and clean much, much better. So always a good idea to, if you can, um, I know it's not always possible for different reasons, but if you can just get down and do it by hand, it will make the biggest difference of getting somewhere clean because you just notice things a lot more than when you're using a mop or any other of those cleaning gadgets. Sometimes just some good elbow grease is the best cleaning tool you have.
So I was not sure how well these rugs were going to clean up. These are heavy duty rugs that we put by the garage in the front door um, that are more waterproof. And I knew I really wanted to get them clean. I was happy though. Uh, this is the first time I've shampooed them. I've taken them outside and like power washed them, but I have never actually taken my carpet shampooer to them. And it worked so well. I mainly wanted to do it because this Autobahn is supposed to be very helpful with any odors and stuff. So I'm like, well, even if it doesn't like clean it greatly, just getting the Autobahn on it to help remove any odors would make me happy. But I feel like it cleaned them really, really good. They looked practically brand new when I put them back where they belong. All right, now back into the front hall that you can see Bailey. That is his favorite spot to sleep is right there at the bottom of the stairs. He's got all of his toys. We had multiple dog beds, one for Drake, one for Bailey, and Bailey never used his. Um, Drake has now claimed all the dog beds and Bailey <laughs> sleeps on the stairs. But we originally got him like a really good like tempur type dog bed because for big dogs they often mention them sleeping on something softer is better for their joints and yeah my giant <laughs> dog has no interest in sleeping in a soft cozy bed even in our room we have a dog bed in there and same situation he prefers to sleep on the floor next to the bed over literally on the other side of the bed where the dog bed is in the dog bed so whatever makes them happy even though the dogs often don't like when I come around with any type of vacuum So this window, it's hard to tell, once again, on film, but this window is the worst window in the entire house, mainly the window sill and the bottom window, because the dogs love to look outside this window. So that window sill is always full of fur and slobber and lick marks on the window and everything. But once again, because of where this window is, right at the bottom of our stairs, I will often clean all the windows downstairs and forget about this one because of where it is. Um, and I'll see it like in the morning and be like, oh, I really need to clean that and just don't just forget because you don't notice it for most of the day so that's why i think it's really important if you're cleaning make a day for areas like this make a day for those areas that often you push off or you forget about um, because these are going to be the areas that probably need the cleaning more than any other room in your house at least that's definitely how it was for me um, this front entry and that hall definitely had a lot of buildup on the walls and the baseboards and that window that it was all things that I wanted to get to and I kept telling myself I should get to but just kept forgetting forgetting just because it's not 
something you regularly think of. Like when you're in the kitchen, you think about it. You're in there all day, every day. Um, same with your dining room, family room, bedroom. But these little oddball areas often are the areas that are the dirtiest and the most neglected. Even though they're just very small areas and fairly simple to clean, um, I think each of these areas I spent a total of 30 minutes in and that's like, as you can see, thoroughly, thoroughly deep cleaning them. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it got you motivated to tackle some projects in your home or maybe you're just watching me relaxing and that's okay too. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. That helps out my channel. It helps boost the algorithm and it makes it possible for more people to see my videos. So I appreciate when you guys like, share, and comment. It really does help me out and I like we'll never take that for granted when you guys do that so thank you guys so so much if you're new here don't forget to subscribe also hit that notification bell um, even if you are subscribed and you have not hit that notification bell don't forget to do that we have a ton so much so much more deep cleaning and spring cleaning in this house to do that you guys do not want to miss it and on top of that i'm going to be doing a kitchen makeover at my sister's house coming very very soon so yeah do not forget to hit that notification bell also a big thanks to picnic for supporting the channel don't forget to check out my description down below to try picnic for yourself but i'm gonna let you guys go i hope you guys enjoy it and i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend but until next time bye